last time stepping foot on this property for a long time. It's never fun. Huge trails going through here. Take this down. We're moving this set, it's right where all these deer seriously get pinched down. It's a perfect little bottleneck. Decisions, decisions. The reason I put that post there is to hopefully get a shot at them broadside at that stand back there, but I might just have to hang it in that little skinny tree, pop them at 10 yards. I think that's what I'm gonna do. One down. Nice little mess of gear. second one up and then I'll get strapped in. I need one more step and I need to be up there. That's gonna have to go. All right, you guys, it's August 23rd. Season is right around the corner, and I'm on a piece that it's my second time ever on, but it's just one of those pieces ever since I was a little kid I wanted to get permission for, and surely enough, I got permission this year. But backing up a few months ago, um, I lost permission on quite a few farms this year. You know, I've started to uh, get into land management, and that's my full-time gig now. This summer, I've just been so busy, I didn't have enough time to go visit all my permission pieces, all the owners, and just talk about uh, this fog. Glad I did that this year because um, I lost a couple pieces due to leasing. One of the farms that I was most eager uh, to hunt this year, I called the hog farm. You know, I was hunting a deer that I call Heavy 10 on that farm, and there were several good four-year-olds that I was really looking forward to getting back after this year. Where we're at right now, this farm actually touches that farm. So Jake and I came in here today. I got permission from that owner um, to get the stands out, my cameras out, and we brought them across the fence. And here we are on probably what I would darn near say is one of my favorite pinches I've ever found in all my years of hunting. Last fall, I did a lot of hunting on this hog farm and I could always see this ridge. And where I'm at right now, is the trail that Heavy 10 crossed. He came in at 20 yards on the same night that I missed him and pulled my shoulder out of my socket. But boy, you guys, this is just a beautiful pinch. I mean, you look at the aerial, everything bottlenecks down here. We got a scrape that we just put up today, a scrape post we put in a few days ago, but that stand that we grabbed from this property, I no longer have permission for. We put the stand right here on this pinch. And I would darn near say this is probably gonna be my best set of the year, but one thing uh, before we get back after it, we need to put a few cutty backs up on the farm today. We put in some plots here just the other day, so we'll check on those as well, but we're just gonna get after it. We got a lot of work today and uh, just eager to show you guys this farm.
perfect. I put this vine scrape up here just the other day. And then we planted turnips in here. So this will be a really nice mix, but this pinch that we just came from is where everything kind of meets. And to the east here is a good hard timber. It's a sanctuary of the farm, but I really like this tree up here. So I need to come back here and get a stand up here, but we'll get a, uh, we'll get a cutty back right here. Looking over this plot, over this vine scrape, this looks pretty good. Just to keep in mind, whenever I'm putting cameras up like this one here, I put this scrape about 20 yards from a stand, but it's gonna overlook where this camera's at, the entire plot. So if anything's out there, it should catch it on camera. This last camera up. Sweet. All right, guys, where I'm at right here is essentially the sanctuary of this farm. Uh, it's probably about a 40 acre block of hardwoods, and boy, it's beautiful in here, but this is where most of the deer do their bedding. I have no plans of hunting in here, so that's why we're getting on the corner of this. All my stands are probably about six to 800 yards away, but in Iowa, you have to be 200 yards away from any mineral sites, and you can't be on a trail that leads up to it, I believe. So just making sure we got everything squared away. But we got this last cutty back put up, and I'm just really eager to see what's on this farm, get these bucks back. But there's three deer that I have in mind um, that I have my sights on for this farm that I'm really excited to see. At the top of the list, is probably the deer that I was calling heavy 10 last year. I was doing a lot of hunting for him. Really around November 20th, he just disappeared. And going into that season last year, I had a bunch of pictures of him in velvet, about two and a half miles away from where we're at right now. The two four-year-olds that I'm most excited for on this farm, top of the list would probably be Hog Jr. Had one set of pictures of him last year and he reminded me so much of a deer that I called a hog last year that I just, had to start calling him Hog Jr. Had a really good encounter with him around November 17th um, over by that pinch. And boy, he looked really good there. Ended up coming in here in spring and came out with um, his left side. Funny enough, the owner of this property found his right side as well. But over the past three years, I've only found the left side of that deer. And just watching his jump from two to three to four, it's been immaculate to watch that deer grow. And he's one that I'm really looking forward to closing the chapter on this year if I get an opportunity. But there is one other four year old I'm pretty tickled about. And I did have a couple encounters with him last year and that deer I call guards. He's got about three or four eye guards um, right off his bases. And I believe I've got his sheds um, as a three year old too. Just a really nice buck, really nice four year old. Haven't had a picture of him. Um, so far this summer, but he's another homebody on this farm. So, but overall, I'm just really excited for this season to get underway. You know, this farm, I'm probably going to be doing most of my hunting between this and that public piece. Since I bring that public piece up, I think Jacob and I are going to try and get out with a long lens tonight over that public. So if we end up filming anything tonight, hopefully we do. Uh, fingers crossed, we'll end up bringing it to you guys. But um, if that's it, thank you guys as always for watching the show and hope to see you back next time.